Hey, it's me. Today I'm gonna do a quick video showcasing all the obsidian weapons I have. I've seen a bunch of comments for it and I felt like it'd be a kind of a cool video to run through it all. I'm no face Jev. I don't think I can get obsidian for every gun in this game. I don't know if I have the mental fortitude for that, but I do have a considerable amount in this game, so I feel like it'd be fun to go through. Leaving a like on the video really does help me out. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like on it, man. And if you're new around here, subscribe, man. You know, we're very close to 10,000 subscribers on the channel, which is just absolutely incredible. I just... I never thought I'd reach a milestone like that. And the fact that it's just within grasp is just absolutely amazing. So if you're new around here and want to help me reach that milestone, subscribe, man. You know, I would greatly appreciate that. I do plan on streaming my live reaction to hitting 10,000 subscribers. Maybe when I reach around like 75 to 100 away, I'd go live and see if I could hit 10,000 subscribers on stream. I thought that'd be a really cool moment. So comment down below if you're interested in something like that. First one we have on the list is the Kilo 141. Y'all saw me unlock it in my Ground War video. The Kilo is just super fun to use in this game, man. It really reminds me of the ACR from Mono Warfare 2. It's a very all-around good assault rifle. It's not the best one in the game, but it's just super fun to use. And uh, I wish it was still kind of meta in Warzone because the gun was fun to use. I don't even care. Next, we have the M4. I mean, of course I have the fucking M4 Obsidian, man. This is one of the sweat guns in this game. I mean, not gonna lie, man. To take out my frustration and just sweat for hours on end using the M4 really felt nice because this gun is pretty brain dead easy to use i'm not gonna lie also i'm not gonna lie to you man i love using the gun i'm a dirty dirty meta slave gun is super satisfying to use it has high damage it's easy to control the recoil especially with the commando foregrip and uh it's dominated the multiplayer for a year and a half for a reason man next we have the m13 the m13 is my number one gun in this game i have over like 13,000 kills with it it's by far and away my favorite gun to use in this game super satisfying to use especially with this hollow sight beaming it from long range it's just the ultimate ground war gun so much fun to use this gun this is actually the first gun that i got obsidian with in this game i made a video a couple months ago uh showcasing this it's not a very good video it was one of my older ones but uh it's there if you want to go and see it next we have the scar h uh the only reason why i want to get the scar h obsidian is because of this red tracer pack that this gun has this is one of the first tracer packs that modern warfare had was for this scar h with the red tracers i thought it'd be really cool to have a tracer pack with a fucking murdered out scar the scar is really satisfying to use it's just a really damn shame that it's one of the worst assault rifles in this game unfortunately like it's a decent ar but it just doesn't match up up to the rest of the ARs in this game. But I had a lot of fun going for Obsidian with it. Next, we have the Ram 7. It's definitely one of my favorite DLC guns from this game. Uh, the TAR-21 from Modern Warfare 2 is absolutely iconic. One of my favorite guns from that game. And seeing it back in this game right off the rip for the first DLC drop was just fucking awesome. I have a green tracer pack on this one. I just love combining the tracer packs with obsidian guns. I just think it's a really cool combo. The Ram 7 hits like a truck. And if you can control the recoil, the gun is really satisfying to use. Next, we have the Graw 556. And this is arguably the most satisfying gun in Cold duty history man like it really is like these iron sights are fucking nasty they're insanely good i got this gun obsidian mostly in ground war i finished obsidian in shoot the ship but i mostly got all of the progress in ground war definitely one of the better dlc guns that come out in the game and uh, it's one of my favorite in this game it's actually in my top three fun fact my top three guns in this game are the m13 the m4 and the Graw. i think i have like 10,000 or so kills with it yeah it's just a fun satisfying gun to use Okay, moving on to the SMGs. The first one we have here is the P90. The P90 is just super fun to use because it's super accurate and uh, has that high ammo capacity. The only problem with the P90 is that it's a little bit of a pea shooter. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it more than makes up for it. Natural recoil control and the speediness of it. And of course, I have the bespeckled cephalopod on this thing because why wouldn't I, right? Listen, Smuggy Puss is an icon and we have to rock him at all times. Next, we have my sweaty ass MP5. I made a video on this MP5 just sweating my balls off. The gun's busted. It dominates the multiplayer. It has for the past year and a half. But it's so fun to use, man. That's just the thing about this game. Uh, red gunning in this game is just super satisfying. And I'm just glad that they didn't gut the MP5, man. They really stayed true. Just like the COD 4 MP5. I really love this blueprint with the strap on it. It just looks really fucking cool. Yeah, I mean, fucking sweaty ass meta gun. Of course I have it obsidian. Next on the list, we have the Uzi. I can't think of a better coming of age story than how the Uzi made a complete turnaround in this game. Uh, when this game came out, the Uzi was absolute trash. It did no damage whatsoever and it just was not good at all. After a couple of buffs and then when they added in the 41 AE and the carbine barrel, this gun just completely turned on its head, man. It became one of the best. It still dominates the multiplayer to this day. You don't see it a lot in Warzone, but you see it all the time in multiplayer. Thanks, Feudus. But I don't mind at all because the Uzi is super 
super fun to use in this game. Just the natural recoil control when you have the carbine barrel on it. You can have a lot of fun with the Uzi. One of my favorite things to do is just throwing a VLK on it and just sniping people from range because the 41 AE rounds combined with the mono suppressor and the carbine barrel damage range is just nuts. Like you can just four shot people with this thing just forever. Now my most recent obsidian gun is the PP Bison. Probably one of the most underrated guns in the multiplayer especially. It's trash in Warzone. It doesn't do anything in Warzone. But when it comes to just strictly multiplayer the gun just is shreds man. You see this gun a lot in shipment especially. Uh, this is like the shipment go-to gun. I had that orange blueprint that you get for unlocking it through spec ops and uh, you can see like right there like the dynamics is like molded into the obsidian. I think it just looks really cool. One of the more underrated and satisfying guns in this game. Next on the list we have the MP7. One of the other meta guns in this game. I mean I, I don't have much to say except that the gun is just satisfying to use man. It's just like the Modern Warfare 3 MP7. If you're using this blueprint these iron sights are just super clean and super nice. Probably the best hip firing gun in the game. When you pair it with the Merc foregrip and the 5 milliwatt. It's just really versatile and you can do a lot with the MP7. Next we have the Striker 45 which is by far the most underrated gun in this game. The damage output with the striker is just nuts. If you combine it with the 400 millimeter barrel and the monolithic suppressor, the thing's an AR. Like, it really turns into this SMG AR hybrid, which was pretty much what the UMP was like in Modern Warfare 2. One of the videos that did really well on my channel was that striker video I made playing Search and Destroy. I threw a VLK on it and was just beaming people from long range. It's just one of the more satisfying guns to use in this game, man. It's really underrated, and if you don't have this gun leveled up at all, I seriously suggest going and doing that. This is one of the more recent guns I got Obsidian is the ISO. Once again, one of the more satisfying and underrated guns to use in this game. It's a really versatile weapon, especially when you put this nightshade barrel on it. And I'm seeing a lot more love for it recently. It deserves it, man. You know, the gun sucked when it came out, but after the buffs, it's definitely one of the better SMGs in the game, I would say. Moving on to the shotguns. Listen, guys, I'm sorry, okay? I, I, I deeply apologize, but how am I going to play this game as much as I do and not have an Obsidian 725? Is There's nothing more fun to troll with than the 725. Like, I'm sorry. I mean, do I feel like an absolute douchebag going for it in hardcore shipment 24-7 with a riot shield on my back? Yes. Did I have a lot of fun doing so? Fuck yes. I mean, the gun's annoying, but it's not nearly as good as it was when the game first came out. And if you're using it as just strictly as a primary, I really don't have the problem. It's the problem when you're just overkilling it and you're just sitting in a corner with it. That's when it gets really fucking annoying. But yep, yeah, Obsidian 725 because... Yeah. I apologize, I put my attack insertion way too close, so you can probably hear it. These next two guns, I have no reason for having obsidian on them. I shouldn't have obsidian on them, it's just stupid, I don't know why I went and did it, but I did it anyway. So the first one is the VLK Rogue. This thing is just kind of weird, to be honest. It's highly mobile, and you can really just fly around the map with it. But outside of that, it doesn't really do a lot of damage with 12 gauge. However, when they added the fire rounds to it, this gun just became a fucking beast up close. Ever since I got obsidian i haven't touched it by far and away the weirdest obsidian gun i have in the game is the mg34 the only reason why i got it is because i thought it would be funny and it is it's fucking hilarious let's be real the mg34 is not that good of a gun in this game the handling is atrocious the movement speed is atrocious the iron sights fucking blow but however the gun has zero fucking horizontal recoil whatsoever it beams from long range and the damage is nuts but i mean i will admit the thing just looks fucking menacing with the obsidian camo so i guess i got what i wish for man next on the list we have the mark ii carbine mainly because this gun is in the words of chris smooth cheese put it lightly this gun is absolutely busted in terms of multiplayer if you just play strictly warzone recognize the mark ii as probably one of the worst warzone guns in the game however completely different story in multiplayer the gun is absolutely busted it's complete cheese it's fun as shit to use man and i just really like the way that obsidian molds into this blueprint overall man i use the carbine enough to get an obsidian because the carbine is fun to use man it's complete cheese but it's fun to use all right, we're on the home stretch now. We have the secondaries. First one that I want to show is the M19. Uh, the M19 is by far and away my favorite pistol in this game. Using this, I kind of feel like Sam Fisher from the Splinter Cell series. You know, just really tactical shit. It's also one of the best akimbo pistols in the game because you can just slap 32 round mags on it and just absolutely bully the enemy team. So you get this monolithic suppressor variant with the Deathstalker bundle. It comes with Alex, I believe. And uh, it just looks so cool on the end of this. And then you just max it with the obsidian 
obsidian camo. It's just, it looks fucking wicked, man. Next, we have the 357, mainly strictly just because I wanted to troll with obsidian akimbo snake shots. This snake shot absolutely plagues the multiplayer and Warzone for a short time. And now I think they're in a state where you can use them. People get annoyed by it. They're just like, ah, whatever. They're fun to use, man. Like, they're just one of the more fun secondaries in the game, especially with the snake shot. The thing with normal ammo is kind of dependent on the player, I would say. You have to be really accurate with it. And uh, the role that it fills, definitely fulfilled more by the deagle. But there's just something about having that big iron on my hip. I had a lot of fun doing it. And uh, it's cheese, but I don't care. Next, we have a Desert Eagle that I like to call Big Pun. Is there anything cooler than a murdered out Desert Eagle with the long ass barrel on the monolithic suppressor? This gun looks fucking cool as shit, man. And just look at the sleek animation. It just looks fucking wicked. And this Desert Eagle is just super satisfying to use in this game. This blueprint that I have for it has dismemberment rounds and there's nothing more satisfying than getting a one tap headshot and just fucking exploding the enemy's head with a murdered out Deagle. It's just super fun to use man and uh, it just looks sick as fuck and just to finish them all up we have some launchers uh the first one i have the rpg and uh listen man i understand the rpg is annoying getting blown up by it is fucking annoying running around in hardcore shipment just blowing people the fuck up it's fucking funny man it's just funny modern warfare thrives on being just overly stupid fun game that's what i think of this game man the game's stupid but it's fun as fucking running into full enemy teams just blowing myself up getting multi kills with the rpg for about a couple hours it was fun man and uh in return rpg just looks fucking menacing and uh if i was looking down a barrel of a fully blacked out rpg probably pissed myself but last and most certainly not least we have the strella p now if you've been around the channel for a while you know how much i love my strella p man this thing is just absolutely fucking hilarious to use it's pretty much a launcher sniper it really reminds me of the p law from infinite warfare it's just a pure meme and the fact that you can just fucking launch look at that shit that thing is fucking zooming had to get an obsidian just for how much i love to use it and how much i use it to meme on people i also had an idea one of these days try and go win a solos match using only the strella p so let me know if you want to see a video like that and yeah those are all my obsidian guns i hope you enjoyed me showcasing all of those the next obsidian gun i have on the list is the jack 12 me and my friend ant were playing and uh, i was just running around 10v10 shipment with a jack 12 and i got really close so i'll probably like stream that maybe just finishing unlocking that it shouldn't take that long so it could be like a fun like hour and a half two hour stream maybe so let me know if you want to see that leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and uh, yeah that's pretty much it take care uh i was gonna use the salute but i don't have it so uh all right fuck it see ya